for that! The movie The Birth of a Nation is already being talked about as this year's best picture, but there's major controversy as the film is set to open. Do you feel guilty about anything that happened that night? I don't feel guilty. Nate Parker, the film's director and star, is talking to 60 Minutes about a troubling incident from his past. In 1999, he stood trial for allegedly raping a fellow student at Penn State University. Parker was acquitted. His roommate, Gene Celestin, was found guilty, but his conviction was overturned on appeal. The men remained friends and co-wrote The Birth of a Nation. Do you feel you did something morally wrong? As a Christian man, just being in, in that situation, yeah, sure. I'm 36 years old right now, and, uh, and, and my faith is very important to me. You know, so looking back through that lens, um, I definitely feel like uh, it's not the lens that I had when I was 19 years old. Julia Parker, the student who brought the charges, told a local TV station in 2002 that her life was ruined. I won't go on campus. I won't go to Walmart or the grocery store by myself. I won't even go shopping alone. She took her own life four years later. I had no idea. I had absolutely no idea. I found out in the news. What did you think when you heard that? I was devastated. It was, it was shocking. Um, you know, I, I couldn't believe it. Now, her sister is speaking out in an editorial in Variety magazine. My sister was raped 60 days after her 18th birthday. In the years that followed, Nate Parker became a well-known actor. It tormented my sister to see him thrive while she was still struggling. I can only imagine the pain she would be experiencing now to see Nate Parker promoting his new movie. Yeah! Yeah!